going to be fitting a new air breather into the plug here. This is not going to so whether it crashes or not, I'm not sure. It's a bit involved. Mm. It's quite cold today, so everything's a bit stiff. It's about one degree, maybe two for that. Take off these three bolts. I had to go off the other day because I was checking to get the right, get the right one. So the bolts are coming out easy because I've got the slip on it. I've been bad and never changed this air breather since I got the thing. I've blown it out a couple of times. I reckon you should. These uh, coal engines are apparently not the best for the heads in them. So they say. Polarises have got a different little engine in them. Uh, I'm not sure what it is, but I think it's still a three cylinder diesel. So that's fairly clean air breather. Been in there a few years. I'm going up on a catch at the moment. Right. Uh, I've got this thing. AV City, it's pretty, it should be pretty good for parts, I've got a few bits from them. Uh, get them. These will just do a CD search. I think they've been the best, especially for these fuel filters here. That's the first one I haven't had to change in a while. You know when it's been changed because the engine starts. But I was not been doing that. <laughs> what I usually do is when I fit one I buy another one. And then if it does it I've got one. I think, I think that was uh, twenty-six pounds or something from them. I think the Polaris one's about seventy. Probably the same same one. Take it right out, but we'd have to unscrew a jubilee clip at the back. So I'm just going to 
see if we can get it without doing that. This help that I took out the bolts and copper flipped them all back in. Copper grease will be on the floor. This, uh, we're just at the end of 2003, 23, sorry. Um, I'm hoping next year, 2024, to get all the rust on the chassis rubbed back and uh, repainted which will be the biggest job I was hoping to do it 2023 but I never got around to it and then it, once the winter came it was a bit cold anyway so for painting just depends how I'm feeling on the day Definitely helps. Right, there you go. That's one air breather fitted or air filter, whatever you want to call it. Let's see what it says in the box. Air filter. Good thanks. We're up at my other building today. This is where the Polaris lives. Because it says in the insurance, must be kept in a locked building when not in use. I feel like I like to steal these things. Bad. Like all the suspension arms, I probably take them off and get them clean properly and painted again. And this bucket's badly needing sorting out all this rust on here. It's, it's in my to do list, but you know, I it's done a bit. Hopefully, not. anyway, that's that job. in my shoulder. Okay, my point of view. Mm -hmm. So the chips are going away from us. Deliberately. Um, yeah, the burn's coming up again. 
don't know how high it's going to come. I'll make sure everything's off the floor before I go up. Not fast. I think that's it. There we go, I've got four sides. What I'll do is I'll uh, take it down and try a socket on it before we move it. We can always refine it a bit if we need to. Must be one more to do. One revolution's a hundred thou. I know it's not power assisted, it's me assisted. They're too big and too small. Seventeen eighty seven and you want seventeen. So forty. Uh, we bring it to me. See, seven, let's just call it 90. It's 45. I'll do when it is and measure it.
and see what happens. Uh, what are we on? 300. There's four of these to do, but I'll only film one. The other rest will be all the same. Same pop up in the mall. Two, so shoot the one. That's small. Not too bad. Yeah. First one was too tight. That one's a bit loose. Maybe we get the third one right. Anyway, that's what I'm doing. There's another two to do. So if we split the difference between the two, we should be there. After all the jaws were put in, I discovered that the jaws could not pass a 17mm socket. So I put them back into the bridge port and machined them back to 16mm. Then I discovered they were made in two bits and the end snapped off. So I'm back to square one now. Coming up next is me making a boring bar to true up the three, the three jaw chuck I've got. Uh, and make it run true. I'm uh, attempting to make a more rigid boring bar. Uh, it'll take these uh, CMG09 or CCMT09 inserts. CMG is zero rig. CCMT is 28 degrees or something. I've got the head nodded over. That might not be right because I've got it in a parallel shape, same as the insert there, which you probably can't see over there. Um, so I'll take a cut to start with, and um, that way off center, because the center should be where the cutting edge is. So, oh. We'll take a shallow cut, try the insert in, and then maybe have to adjust it. I've already indicated it to make sure this heads at 90 degrees to this uh, table. I also checked it on here as well, so it's flat that way, the Z plane. Oh, this is my first go at using a nodded head on here. This is a 
It's an old rod. I put a hydraulic ram. Run it fairly slowly and see how it goes. It's a full steel. What we'll have to watch is these end mills like to go up inside. I had little slugs made up to them. Well, that didn't work, so I'll jump ahead to where it did work. Should get a slope. That's a few degrees off. See what that does. I need to put this back to 90 degrees and keep this tipped up. Something wasn't it true there because that cutter's now moved back that way quite a bit. Thickness the cutter 8mm, so I must have did something off the square. Anyway, let's have a play. See what happens. Now, as this is tilted, it should dig in as we go that way. Should it? I'm pretty sure there's a lot of people who knew a lot more than me. I'll keep my rates. I've run out of my good blue gloves. I'm using the cheap and nasty screw fix ones. Okay, that's what we want. Look, look at that. Now it's higher at this tip than it is there. I want to lift it in a bit more, but that's that's what we want. So this is the this leading edge here is cutting. Right, I need to let that in another. Mill.
the, the gap is wider than the insert. But what I'm planning on doing is putting a screw down with a pin that goes right through and pushes the insert down. Yeah, we've got the right we want now. So we just need to let that down. Give it a hundred thousand and see where we'll land. Right, ten. Let's lift it up a hundred. Two, one, four, five. And this is three sixty six. Two, four. So we do get three hundred. Two, one, four, fourteen, fifteen, see. Eighty. Five thou. So I'll put in seventy five. See how it comes out. Fifteen. Sorry. That's seventy five there. Yeah. Much overhang, do they? Uh, so all the forces in that are going to be in that direction. I think that's probably as deep as I want to go. Sent in case we've to put it back in. I think that's going to be deep enough. What we'll need to do now is uh, machine it a flat. 
can get the bolt in. Put this in the middle of the action too. I think I'm just going to go in 90 degrees uh, to create a flap for the bolt or whatever we're putting in there, probably. Because it's such a little hole that's in these CNMGs, we'll have a bolt and then we'll probably turn it down to a pin to go through. So that's created the A flat. Of sorts. Okay. What we need to do now is bore a hole in the exact right place and tap it so it pushes down on that insert. Yeah, the end's round, that's the only problem. Uh, we get that flat. set of 3M5 taps because I think we only had one and it broke. <sighs> right, we'll get a Yeah. 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 Yeah.
I got everything to line up in the end, uh, the 5mm insert screw I was using I had to run it across the grinder so the tip would go in the hole in the CNMG insert. That's it in and it's working and I was just putting some pressure on it to see what the deflection was and one thou, well that would just be what's in there. This. It's pretty good. And the inserts, might put something in the back of it yet just to fill up the, the little thing but see it, it fitted straight in this existing hole in the Headstock, so headstock, yeah, uh, two holder thing. So that's, uh, and then it was a lot longer, but you could get near 20 thou the length it was pushing it sideways. But happy with that, just being one. Insert stayed in place as well. Looks like we've cut that. What I'm trying to do is through this three jaw because of the problem with the four jaw. I machined the uh, I machined these down to M16, but unbeknown to me, they were made in two pieces and that fell out. That must have been pushed in and welded or something, but when I cleaned, when I machined it down, it did away with it and then they fell out, of course, didn't they? So you can buy the screws, £68 each. At me. It doesn't even look like that method. So what I'll do now is I'll take that out and put see if I can find something true. Uh, it was 22 thou and I machined it yesterday it was down to 8. Uh, if you come on here and go in the jaws, it's 2. So if we get anywhere near 3, we'll be fine. Uh, and also I added extra bolts in. There was just three bolts holding. That's where the right have to go. Um, there was only three bolts holding it onto here, so I've got another three in, so there's six now holding this plate onto this chuck. Like I say, if you, there's about one and a half to two thou, if you indicate it at the actual jaw position. And then we had 20, so I put that puck in, tightened on it, so it's got pressure on it. And then we've run this boring bar in. I'm going to maybe put some better slots in this yet. <laughs> uh, we'll see, I could do that with a mill machine, of course. Uh, so, that's my plan. I'll let it test it and see, see how much run out there is now. Right. Well, uh, I'll run it again, and I've got an old uh, piston pin, I think it is, in there, so it's. It's under three thou now. That's like two and three quarter thou or something, maybe something like that. That's what moves different. a full revolution. Let's mm. see in there. Zero. There should be some dents in that, but it's under three thou and you, would, you wouldn't expect a Three jaw would be much better, I wouldn't think, unless it's one of the really expensive ones. So my my homemade uh, boring bar worked fine. Uh, only thing is, cut in that direction, <laughs> clockwise rather than anti-clockwise. But I could sort that. I could make another one at the end so you can turn it. Or I could sort the other side. Uh, but it's working. That's the main thing. Gives me keep and that's. I made it deliberately to take the CNMG 090480 inserts that I've got. I've got more than one thing. Uh, and I have plenty of those 5mm insert screws. I put it in the drill and spun it against the grinder just to get the end point to go into the insert itself. 
like pushing the insert down uh, with that insert screw so we happy with that but I've gone for 20 thou yesterday to under three so I think we can be happy with that whether it's repeatable or no is another question but I think about right so I'll leave it at that and then I'll do something with the four jaw at some point I have purchased a nine inch brat four jaw a second nine one so I'm just waiting on that coming now uh, in the post just been uh, trying to get the GoPro table true to the whole head I think that's 1.5 there Right then, you'll end up with the 2.5 on it. Was it 2.5? It's better than it was. It's pretty close. Let's see. It'll be a bit worn. And 49 inches, it's one and a half to two thou out off. That's about the best I can get, I think. So I'll leave it there. I don't have any markings up here. Yeah, there's nothing to line up that 90 degree with. I would have thought there would be. So we're going to line that 90 up with a new mark. Uh, where we've got it now. And uh, it's going to have to be quite a fine mark. There's a very faint mark there. The, uh, the 90 stays still and the brass bit above it rotates. So I think being within a couple of thousand forty nine inches isn't too bad, really. So I'm going to stop there. I'm going to watch. I've been cutting out some steel to start repairing this. Uh, these bits. I've got I put that bits for there. Cut for the other side as well. And still with, it. still with the bit for the back to cut out. And I want to bend them into shape. I got fed up with the annoying bonnet, so I've cut it. Uh, that should have been out a bit, but it'll get sorted. This is the tricky bit this windscreen. Because there's nothing left to follow, I, uh, what I did is the top line there is the actual windscreen because I drew around it and then I measured from this point here to that point up there and between the two was 16 mil um, 804 788 so 
then I thought, right, this has to be smaller. So in my head, I started drawing 16. And then some rusty bit of my brain said, no, it can't be 16 because it's eight at each side. So this middle line's the cut line. Uh, and this line here is a cut line. So I'm trying to make it all in one piece. Save a lot of welding. So that should be right, but it probably won't be. And then you'll have eight at the top because you've it's to allow for the rubber to go in. So you've got eight mil all round. And what I did is I measured from there to there, which I can do in the tractor, and it was within a couple of mil. It tapers if you see, if you look at it from here. Uh, so, I'm going to cut this out, and then I'll probably have a big tidy up. And I have purchased a compression tester, because I want to take the injectors out and test each cylinder. See what the compression is like. It's still a so-and-so to start when it's cold. However, I did get it to start on its own. I stuck a bowl lamp under it for a good while, just to let the heat come up and I jumped it off the Polaris which gives me 14 volts uh, I think the third one actually started but I doubt if it's starting at the moment but maybe injectors are being done or you know engines need completely rebuilt things like that anyway so that's my plan and then I'll have to cut out the bits of steel weld the new bit in um, so I'll wait and see if I can attempt to cut that out. I think I'll use a little angle grinder with a small disc in it because you've got a lot of turns in it. Plasma cutter would have been ideal, but it's a couple of hundred quid at the moment. Uh, and I've got too many bills to pay. I did make some cardboard templates up. To help me. That's why I wanted the bonnet in, because you can put this bit in. <coughs> oh, looks good today. That's it's there. So that that gave me a pattern to start with, and then I cut out a cardboard template. So this comes down here, around the bottom of the windscreen, and up here, both sides, but. Like I said, there's nothing to go on, apart from a bit of that side. That's why I'm going off the actual windscreen. There's still a bit of the area of the shape of it. I might... I'll probably cut it a bit big so I can grind it down into the shape if I need to. Uh, the bonnet's not very good, so I'm not bothered about cutting it. I always thought it was an awful big bit of metal, because you've got the two two chunky sides, the whole bonnet, it's a lot of metal to take off in one go. Probably pick hinges or something and hinge it there, or make it slide in maybe. Could be that, yeah. Anyway, I've got the basic set with that bit inside and I can, the bit that's too short, I can always just weld a bit on there. Well, it took me a while to cut it out, but I need a bit of dressing up, but that's the uh, basics of it. And then there's a bit that's underneath it. I went wrong at that corner. I'll have weld that up. That won't take much. And I'll, uh, I'll cut these down here somewhere so I'm only welding away up here. In fact, uh, it starts into that there so I'll just cut that there and cut a bit of that out. Get it welded in. Uh, that was a bit of fun. So maybe a wee bit shy in some of the bits, but I think the rubber will cover it. I'd rather it was too wee than too big, because it was too big I could crack the glass putting it in. And that is a seriously expensive bit of glass. If you can even get one now, I think the one Agroline's got's actually for a later model, the Cook, 
think it was a cue card they called it. So, what's next? Uh, I need to cut out bits for going round the back corner. For that side and this side and then I'll do something with a bit of at the top but I think we'll start welding in all these bits down the bottom first. And uh, like I say, but we might do the compression test next. I'll see. See what, see what I feel like. So, might look a bit better once we sort all the steel work out. It won't be any worse. <laughs> Don't think. 